Buenos dias chicos. Today we're hiking Volcan de Santa Ana. Why are you laughing? She's laughing at my Spanish. So today instead of taking a guided tour where they pick you up and everything, we just decided to take the bus, which you gotta be at this station right here, which the name is Sale de Espera y Abordaje La Venezadora. So this is by Street 11 and Avenue Frey Philippe. Felipe de Jesus Moraga, as you can see. Honestly, just check Google Maps and you'll find the place. Yeah, like what I said, just, just type that in. Take a screenshot or something and that should work. We spoke to some gentlemen yesterday in the park and they told us to be here at seven. The bus actually comes at 7.40. And we took an Uber from our place. It was like maybe an eight minute Uber. Apparently the journey should be about an hour and a half to two hours. So we'll see how that goes. But instead of getting a guided tour, just come to this bus station and you could save yourself like $90 US. Yeah, a guided tour was 100 US dollars. So 105 actually. If you want to save some money, watch our video. Yeah, you could save some coin with us. We'll show you how the bus looks and this is how the station looks. Here it is. The way we kind of judge it is if you see other white people, other tourists, that you're going in the right direction. Here are the tickets actually. 70 cents per. You have to take bus 248. How much do you think we'll save? Because it was per person $105. We'll let you know. I think we'll save like $95 each, to be honest. What else is there? So we're taking a different bus. We thought it was going to be bus 248, but. It said 248. It said, did it? No, it said two, oh. this is 209. This is 209. I got a duck because I'm super tall. Where do you want to sit? I just want leg room. Let's go here. This is not made for tall people. You think it will be as nice as Akatanango? No, definitely not. The views might be. Not with the lava, but like that lake. That Maybe. lake will be cool. We'll see how it looks. Seem to be going through some residential area. Hopefully it's the right way. Online it said take bus 248. This is bus 209. I think we'll be okay. Hope we're going to the like right location for going on a different volcano. I doubt it, but I'm a little bit car sick already, especially on a school bus. That's moving around this much. I'm not sure if we're going the right way, but so we're here and we gotta get all the way here. That should take like probably like an hour and a half, like I said. And they are making stops, obviously. It is a pretty rough ride, I'm not gonna lie. But at least it's empty and we have some light room. The lady just gave Natalie a cookie because she saw she was sleeping and tired. I'm not tired, I'm just car sick, yeah. Really car sick. Well, that, you think that will help? Sleeping always helps me with my car sickness. So hopefully this helps. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, I think it should. It's like fudge. For me, it's kind of a bit too sweet. I don't like eating in the morning anyway. You like it, no? It's good. She just gave it to us. I'm like, no. I'm like, no, thank you. She's like, no, no, take it. I'm like, right. <laughs> I think she was eyeballing me the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Saw me struggling. <laughs> We got some vendors here, on bus vendors. Do you want watermelon? Maybe. In my opinion, that's the only thing that looks pretty okay. I want to try the white thing. I don't know what that is. You say que es eso. I'm just going to answer in Spanish. I'm so then, 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 we'll, then I'll try to translate. Okay. Piña y sandía. Amba. ¿Qué más? Uno y uno. Uno y uno. Tres por un dólar de sal. Tres por un dólar. Oh, tres por un dólar. Okay, um, ¿qué es eso? Esta es jicama. Jicama. Should we try it? Sandia, papaya. I want to try the jicama. Jicama, jicama. Sí, sí. Muchas gracias. 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 I'm bad. I hope I like this jicama, but if anything, it costs like 40 cents. So yeah, matter. so three for one dollar, that's, that, that's not bad. She made a quick exit. We still got ways to go, about 39 minutes around the whole lake. All right, let's try it. Let's see how it is. Good? Not true. It's like... A cabbage and an apple vegetable. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a vegetable. Or, I like it. Put the lemon on it. Is it good with the lemon? That's good. That makes it so much better. 
got some dry. What did you say? What was it called? I forgot. Hikama. 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 Oh, damn it! We wanted to film a cow. I saw it, and it just it disappeared into the into the trees. It's cold up here. I wish That's I brought my so long sleeve. It's not so bad. Did you understand? Uh, yeah, that just yet? an hour and a half. Up. <laughs> Las cuatro. Acá. Okay. Pero normalmente oh, oh. todos ustedes que vienen en este bus están a tiempo para agarrar el bus de la una y cuarto. Okay. Estamos a tiempo aquí de regreso para agarrar el mismo bus. Por si no quieren esperar hasta las cuatro, vea. Mm -hmm. All right, we've started. Listo, Roberto. Hola. Soy Roberto también. Ajá, también. <laughs> Con gusto. Soy Natalia. ¿De dónde? Ah, Canadá. Soy ah. canadiense, sí. ¿Dónde aprendieron español? Ah, un poco, solo un poquito. Estoy aprendiendo. Lo hablas muy bien. Oh, gracias. ¿Tú hablas inglés o no? No, un no. poquito. Poquito. Poquito español, poquito inglés. Sí, ¿Cuántos días en El Salvador? Ah, uh, un mes. Ah, oh, muy sí, bien. Sí, sí. Uh, cinco semanas. ¿Les gusta El Salvador? Sí, sí. me gusta. Me gusta, me gusta el tunco. Ah, la sí. playa. Sí, la playa. ¿Le gusta el surf? Me gusta surf, pero no tengo tiempo por, por, sur, por surf. Sí. Pero... Me gusta aquí también, volcán. Este es muy bonito. Sí, sí. ¿Conocen esta planta? No, no sé. Café. Café. Oh, ya. Yeah? Oh, oh, coffee beans. Cool. Oh, wow. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Normalmente se corta ya para su proceso. Es este, ¿ves? el rojo. Ok, es sí. rojo. Okay. Bueno, cuando está rojo, que ya está listo para. Ok. Ah. El café que se produce acá es uno de los mejores del país y también del mundo, ya que el sabor siempre se ha caracterizado por tener de los mejores cafés. Sí, sí, aquí Guatemala también. Sí, ya que nosotros acá cultivamos café arriba incluso de los 1800 metros sobre el nivel del mar, lo que indica que es un café de estricta altura y no solo su altura lo hace diferente, sino que también su clima y sí. los minerales volcánicos. Sí, hacen sí. Que el café acá sea buenísimo. Sí, el clima aquí es muy bien para café. Sí. ¿Y que, ¿Ya comieron pupusas? Sí. ¿Te gusta? Me gusta frijoles con queso. Oh, bueno. <laughs> ¿Y, ¿Y tú? Todas. Ok. No. Frijol con queso, jalapeño. Jalapeño, ah. Pollo. Picante. Sí. <laughs> Beautiful here. I'm already breathing. <laughs> How about you, Dad? Sí. ¿Has visto fotos del volcán o videos? Sí. ¿Qué dices? ¿10 minutos? Sí, más. Not even seven. <laughs> that makes me look worse. Let's say 10 minutes, just so I don't seem too out of shape. I'm already huffing and puffing. Roberts, right? Easier oh. than Acatenango? Acatenango. Oh, wow. Dos. Those are good nah. pictures. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. The terrain is better. It's not so sandy. You actually have a little bit of grip. And it's like up, down, up, down, not just steep all the way up, like in Guatemala. Oh, this is a nice little breather. I'm excited. Our guide showed us some pictures from the top. It looks beautiful. And he said today we have perfect weather for it. So, got lucky. How are your hiking shoes, Robert? Beautiful. I love them. Best shoes I've ever had. We should make an ad. Barrel. Buy it. <laughs> We're already breathing. We have to pay a second entrance. This is six dollars for entry. Per person? Per person, yeah. What we paid before was to the guide for three dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Twenty-nine year old students. <laughs> I brought my student card. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is six dollars per person. So nine dollars total with the guide. Well, look, US one dollar coins. They're like a Canadian loony. Ticket acquired. We're ready to start the hike. 
I guess the first little bit was just a taster, a teaser. So far, nine dollars per person instead of a hundred US five. dollars. Was it one oh five? Yeah. Instead of a so hundred and five dollars. Seventy cents each for the bus, and then nine dollars. The so nine dollars and seventy cents, and plus maybe two bucks to get back. So we'll yeah. do the whole thing for eleven bucks yeah. instead of a hundred and five. That's quite the difference. That's we'll tally it up all at the end. So this is like the first stop a little bit. They have little tiendas. I think that's what they're called. Little convenience shops. So if you didn't come prepared, you can buy something from here. And they actually have bathrooms here. So I'll show you. They're pretty nice. So those are the bathrooms there. You do have to flush the old school way. So you got to grab a bucket with some water and flush the toilet that way. At least they have some sort of enclosement and a bathroom stall. When we did the Akatanango hike, there was nothing but a hole in the ground. So this is a luxury. We just passed a checkpoint where you show your ticket and they check what's in your backpack. Make sure you're not carrying any dangerous items. No guns. Or alcohol. No knives. Stuff like that. Alcohol, cigarettes. And now we begin. Ah, I just hit my head. Went down just to go back up. I read this online and I wasn't sure if it was it, but it's confirmed that it is. That right when you enter, they charge you $3. You actually don't have to pay that at all. It just went straight to the entrance. Oh, you think so? No, I know so. That's what it said on the thing I read. We just had to pay the actual entrance. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If we matter. just walked confidently Yeah, we could have just walked past them, I think. I think I read somewhere online that it said- That you have to? You have to pay twice? They say it's like a tip. Oh, okay. But it's a mandatory, a mandatory tip. tip. Maybe that's true. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. You guys can try it. It doesn't matter. Just try walking confidently. <laughs> just try walking back. I'm already tired. <laughs> After doing that hike in Guatemala, you think you'd be in better shape for this. But I'm still pretty tired. First rest stop. There's a view up there. I feel like that's but extra steps for, that uh, I don't want to take. I don't know if it's for tourists. Yeah, this hike is definitely way not as hard as uh, Acatanango. This is much easier. Tripping. <laughs> My dad does that uh, when he's tired or he's doing something physically exerting. It helps. It does help. You laugh, but it helps. No, I agree. It's just funny. <laughs> Where's the aloe? Oh, here. Cut it open. Then you don't have to buy aloe vera. Yeah, if you get burnt at the top. <laughs> Readily available here. Beautiful. Is that. That might be active. Look at the smoke. I think it is. I think it is. Shit, that's beautiful. Wow. You don't have to just go to Guatemala to see big beautiful volcanoes. You could see them here in El Salvador. So beautiful. Wow. That's so cool. There's a nice view. Wow. Even better views. Oh, no, no. There's some bushes. Look at that bird up there. And I assume this is where we're going up. So it looks like to me. And they said not to pick the flowers. It's so beautiful here. Again. Another beautiful view. Okay. This one is, I think, the nicest actually we've seen. So far. So far. The volcano actually looks like it erupted, but that's just a cloud. There's another view. Just endless views, endless views. I think this is the proper, proper view. We wanted to get some more video, but then we fell back behind. So if you are filming, don't take too much time because <laughs> they will leave without you. And if there's a wrong turn and you it up that's on you <laughs> so don't take too much time if you want to get just videos or photos another beautiful view holy shit it's beautiful here wow check it out hermosa Gracias. Two? No, Vista. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Natalie. It was cloudy, but this is just a passing cloud. And where we'll be at the top, it looks like it will be clear. So that's good news. Another rest area. 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes? I wonder what this is. Just a collection of rocks. If you're from here, let me know in the comments because I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm dying. I brought uh, six liters of water for me and Natalie because we both drank like crazy. We both drink a lot of water and I'm carrying everything. So it's heavy. You can see the sweat on my forehead. I'm tired. It is clear up there. The clouds have went that way, which is good. What are these trees? Never seen them. Berries. You want to try them? I want to. I won't. Are these poisonous? Let us know. Oh, we found we found a stray dog. First one. We haven't seen one the whole time until now. The dog is a dog now. First viewing of the lake from here. It's amazing. 
Wow, looks so cool from here. Beautiful. This hike is definitely easier than Acatenango. Yeah, much easier. It's all rock. Acatenango is a lot of sand and loose okay. ground. This is just like hard ground. There's a lot of people, so it's just causing traffic and you just walk slower, making it easier. Still, not that easy. This is how the ground was in Acatenango, even worse. And it was steeper, so that's what made it so much more difficult. This is still pretty good, like look. Not steep at all. Here's our first viewing, but we gotta go over there to see the lake. Well, look at this, amazing. Hey, the, that's so cool. Let's go more over there. I think there's a better view that yeah. way. It's my first time seeing a lake like that in a volcano. We only got 20 minutes, apparently, so we gotta make a move on. Holy shit. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Have you ever seen something like this? No. I never have. Yes. That's breathtaking, honestly. The camera doesn't do it justice. I think we could even get a better view from that way. I don't think we could go swimming in there, though. <laughs> Let's go for a swim. <laughs> wow. You could see the, like, the steam. Oh my gosh, that is so You cool. notice that? You notice that, yeah. This is truly amazing. Sulfuric water, right? Sulfur lake, yeah. Sulfur lake, sulfur lake, sulfuric water. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whatever, this is amazing. I wonder if you could, if anyone's ever walked down there. I'm not saying I would, I would never do that, but I wonder if somebody else did. I want this shot, me here, and you fly past me. All right, we'll show you that soon. One last shot of it before we go. Sulfur Lake, beautiful. Now the clouds are coming down as we're leaving. Literally just as we're leaving, the clouds are starting to come. How's the walk down? <laughs> it's always better down than up, as I say. Oh, it's the first cop I've seen so far. People said there was more, but like in the in the blogs that I read. They said they follow behind you quietly. Well, I didn't see any though. I saw a couple of before we entered. Really? I didn't notice them. Otra vez, another beautiful view of the lake. We'll definitely have a separate video of that. You wanna go down this way? Not really. You're gonna go? Yeah, let's see. Here, take the camera. We'll, we'll compare notes. Alright. Damn. No? That's what I thought. I can't take any shortcuts. <laughs> they told me not to. Yeah, so. I wanted to go down. And they're like, what? They're like, no? No. They're like, nope, wrong way. Nope, don't go there. So we're walking down. Apparently, you could get this done in 30 minutes, but there's lots of traffic. We're unsure if we'll make the bus because it's at 115. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we can make it. Otherwise, there's a bus at 4 p.m., which, whatever. If we have to take that, so be it. It's like so much worse. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. More traffic. We're finally getting some speed. Maybe we could still make the bus. Well, yeah, it was just so packed there. So many people. This is a very quick hike, to be honest. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing compared to Acatenango, like, at all. It doesn't even compare. But it is a good good morning to like early afternoon type of thing. If you're staying in Santana and you set everything up, like you could be back in Santana probably by 3 p.m. We'll see. We'll see. 
how long it takes us to get back, but we'll let you know soon and we'll show you. Don't go too crazy here. I don't want to fall and face plant with four liters of water on me. Natalie runs funny, I think. I'm trying to get to the bus. Actually, this is fun. Running through this is probably a bit dangerous. Let's go, vamos. We had a quick sprint and that's it. Not a mass. No mass. Hopefully we can still get the bus. Will the travel gods be with us? Let's find out. We took a little bit too much time up there to shoot or to film content, so we might pay for it by coming later. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll see. The travel gods are with us. We didn't miss the bus. We're They just like rent you, but also you're on like on their you know? on their schedule. Whereas if you go out on your own, well, we're on their schedule too. But we're on the bus schedule. That's about it. But we did save like ninety dollars US. US. That's For like us, that's like one twenty. Twenty. One twenty. One thirty. One twenty. One thirty. One twenty-five. One thirty, depending on the exchange that you get. That's so, a win. Like Natalie good. and Robert won four zero. What would we have gotten different? Just a ride, that's yeah. it. They feed you lunch maybe. Do what we did. <laughs> Do what we yeah. did. This is the bus number by the way. 209. Ride is secured, we're good. Here are the wristbands that we had to get in. And Natalie is absolutely exhausted. <laughs> our video for Santana Volcano. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did and we'll catch you in the next one.